На даний момент ми їх тільки зараз починаємо отримувати. От, е і вже в подальшому, там, сьогодні навіть будемо ними працювати, на, грубо кажучи, на вечір там, чи, на, чи за завтра на ранок. Ну, дані касетні боєприпаси мають дуже, скажімо так, вигідну, вигідну рису. Вони можуть накривати дуже велику площу де скупчується дуже багато живої сили там, чи легкої броньової техніки. І за допомогою них можна буде зупиняти, а, а також допомагати нашій піхоті просуватися вперед, щоб запобігти наступу противника або допомогти нашим військам зайняти вигідні позиції. This underwater structure is not a trap. It's a seahorse hotel. The grid, made of biodegradable metal, will provide much needed habitat for Australia's endangered white's seahorse. It's a new strategy to restore the population of the unique sea creature. We've seen dramatic population losses, which means that we need to act, act now in order to help these guys persist into the future. Mitchell Brennan is the manager of the Sydney Seahorse Project, a collaboration focused on the conservation of the species. So the reason that this uh, seahorse species is endangered is through habitat loss, so the loss of things like seagrasses and soft corals. So the seahorse hotels, we place out into the wild, and that over time they will accumulate lots of natural growth, including sponges and algae, and become a suitable habitat for all the seahorses, replacing that habitat that's been lost or degraded in the past. White's seahorses are endemic to the waters surrounding Australia's east coast. But monitoring by Australian scientists revealed that the population in Sydney Harbour nearly halved between 2008 and 2015. The population on New South Wales' north coast fell by around 95%. The white seahorse, or the Sydney seahorse, is the second species of seahorse to be classified as endangered in the whole world, with the other species found in South Africa. It's the first species to be classified as endangered in Australia. And this is largely due to human impacts, including the effects that we have on their habitats. The hotels are designed to mimic discarded crab traps, a common home for seahorses. They're installed at least a month before release to allow the accumulation of algae, sponges, and other marine fouling. Over the years, the metal breaks down and disappears, leaving behind a semi-natural reef, benefiting not only the seahorses, but the broader ecosystem of the harbour. Uh, so we're in the Sims, or Sydney Institute of Marine Science Aquarium facility here, where we have several hundred seahorses that we've bred. And these guys are about five months old now, and they're on track to be released into the wild in the near future. Results from earlier releases look promising. Yeah, so there was a release done at Chowder Bay previously, uh, in May of 2020. So 90 seahorses were released into Chowder Bay. And after one year, 20% of these seahorses were still found on the seahorse hotels. So it's a really positive first sign. As well, nine seahorses were observed to be pregnant within the wild, which is really positive for the reproductive success of them after their release. Over the next 12 months, the team will continue to monitor the population using tags attached to the seahorses.